Hey, Chandra, guess what? What? I made ice cream. I, I made it. I made it out of cottage cheese. <laughs> mm. We're going to try it after this. You know, her name is Chandra. My name is Dustin. And as I said in the intro, we made, oh, well, I made ice cream out of cottage cheese. That sounds sketch. It is going to be sketch, really, really sketch. But we're going to eat it anyway. I made two flavors. I made a cinnamon okay. and a strawberry. We're going to see mm. what's going on here. Can we try the strawberry first? Because that sounds the least appealing. You sound a appealing. I am appealing. Whoa, that looks weird. You look weird. That looks questionable. This looks sketch. Oh, it's like a pudding. Like melted ice cream. Maybe it needs to go in the creamy. So you you saw this on what now? I saw this in the shorts, the reels, the TikToks, you know. And I did my own spin on it. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it now. It's not terrible. Mm -hmm. What do you think about it? It's a little more gritty than I thought it was going to be. A little more. Do you like the taste? It tastes like cottage cheese. It tastes like yogurt. It doesn't taste like yogurt. It tastes like yogurt. No. For somebody who hates yogurt, this tastes like yogurt. There's no crappy tang that yogurt has. It doesn't have it. You have some in your stash. It definitely tastes like yogurt. It's got a bitter... It's got a bitterness to it, but I don't mind this surprisingly at all, which is weird. It is very puddingy. I wish you need to freeze it longer. Yeah, but it tastes good. It could also be that I'm exhausted after working all day, and it's ten thirty at night, and I have to work tomorrow. But I think it's good. Call me crazy and probably sleepy. Do you think it needs more flavor? Mm -mm. No, you think it's just right. So I used uh, I used Sin Fit strawberry syrup in this, and I'll put a link to them. I'm below. not a fan of strawberry flavor, so right. this is very mild, and I'm into it. All right, so let's like, go ahead. It's of, of all the flavors of ice creamy cream things, strawberry is like way down my list. So it's cinnamon. really easy to make. It's just and I'll and I'll maybe roll some uh, some B roll over top of this. Mm -hmm. It's really easy. It's just cottage cheese, the flavoring. A sweetener. Well, that flavoring had its own sweetener involved, so I didn't use any other sweeteners, and I used a little bit of heavy cream. Yeah. Just because the way our the way our blender is set up, like <laughs> I had to make it reach the you know the mm -hmm. blades. Kevin Hart. The way my bank account is set up. See the way my bank account is set up. <laughs> That's why I don't have a creamy of my own. Yeah, I don't mind the flavor. The texture's a little off-putting. It definitely needs to freeze for longer. Um, and with adding the cream to it, it'll make it more of an icy texture. You can kind of tell before he stirs it up. Yeah, I didn't use that much of that, though. Yeah, but it, the cream has a, a water amount to it, which will ice over. This is very, like, puddingy. No. Yeah. Like, gelato kind of consistency. But I liked the first one. Try that. What do you think? I like that. You like that? Mm -hmm. It is very like... Horchata. Little horchata flavor, yeah. No. It's a bitter though. It definitely has... It's a little bit. It is a little bit bitter, yeah. It has a yogurty bitterness tang to it in the background, which I actually like. I like yogurt. I like that, that bitter tang. And this is cinnamon. Cinnamon is one of my all-time favorite flavors. So I'm down for this. So with this is 12 ounces of cottage cheese mm -hmm. one teaspoon of cinnamon i didn't want to over cinnamon it you know and i didn't kind of know what i just throwing it together you could always use more yeah just same so maybe maybe two table or maybe two teaspoons of cinnamon mm -hmm. and this is like four tablespoons of a powdered erythritol sweetener oh. so you have to be careful make sure i don't get a headache yeah but i mean there's not enough in there i don't think to really make a difference but mm -hmm. i mean it's I like it. So my comments to this one, add more cinnamon mm -hmm. and 
I don't know if it would work, but if you could like add some butter to it or a butter flavoring to it, it would taste even better. I'd have to figure that out. Yeah, I'm not sure that it would work because once you freeze butter, it gets all waxy. Yeah, I'd have to put some kind of like... Um, Gargum or something. Some kind of emulsify, emulsification, kind of like whatever uh, um, keto chow uses in theirs to keep the fat from... From solidifying. Mm -hmm. I'd mm -hmm. have to look up and see what that is and get a bag of it. This is pretty good. Between the two, I like the cinnamon, but it's lacking in cinnamon flavor. The strawberry is good, mild, because I don't like strawberry flavor, so I'm okay with that. The cinnamon needs to kick it up a notch. Okay. But I'm down for it. You can make this. I probably would prefer it more like this as pudding-y as opposed to like frozen, because mm. I don't really like ice cream. Yeah, you could drop fruit in there, whatever you wanted on top of that, some chocolate chips. Oh. Be doctor good. it up to, you know, make it your own parfait. No. I, I, this is a winner. Now, I would say if you are not a fan of bitter, you're probably not going to like this. And I don't mean like it's bitter, like, oh, it's not like sucking on a lemon, but it has a bitter after tang. So it doesn't taste like cottage cheese, but it has a bitter after tang, similar to like a yogurt. And I'm surprised you like it because you hate yogurt. I don't like yogurt. It doesn't taste like yogurt to me. When was the last time you tried yogurt? Mm, when we started keto early on, we got you got those little shake things, the little That's yogurt not shakes. Yogurt, though. It tasted just like yogurt. Had the oh. same weird sour. Mm -hmm. There's a sourness to yogurt that I don't There's like. There's a sourness to this. It's, it's not the same. It is the same. It's, it's virtual. I'm literally same. telling you that it's not the same to my I'm taste buds. I'm telling you it's been six years since you've tasted anything yogurt remotely. And there's a reason for that. I, I bet if I made this, but with yogurt instead of cottage cheese, you wouldn't notice the difference. I try would. I know you wouldn't. Let me see this. It's, it, this is good. It has a yogurt back tang. It has almost like a cottage, uh, not a, it almost has like a, like a cheesecake tang to it. It's um, almost like there's cream cheese in it, but I didn't put any cream cheese in it. It's yogurt. That's what it tastes like to me. She's trying to mansplain <laughs> what it tastes like you. to me. I'm telling you, he's wrong. We know he's wrong. <laughs> we watch this because we know I'm right. Am I right? As right as a left turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is good. Has a yogurty tang. He's wrong. <laughs> I win. All right. If you found value in this video, and if you want to try this, let us know. It's going to be a long time before we eat anything like this again. Yeah. Tomorrow we start the... B -b 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 -e. B -b -b -e. Yeah, and we didn't get all the videos filmed that we wanted to film, so we'll have to see what goes on with that. But huh. I digress. Again, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye, guys. I'm right. He's wrong. You know it. Meh. I'll sleep better if she's right. <laughs> he really will. <laughs>